Hello, I'm Jin Nam from University of California. First of all, uh, I'd like to thank the organizers for inviting me to present some of our recent findings in our transformative piezoelectric enhancement of electrodes from PVDF therapy nanofibers and their uh, bio applications. As you probably know, piezoelectric material is a class of materials that can convert mechanical energy to electrical energy or vice versa. There is an increasing interest in utilizing these piezoelectric materials for bio applications, such as electrical stimulator, on-demand drug uh, delivery platform, and bioenergy scavenger system. Traditional inorganic materials, piezoelectric materials provide the best opportunity because of their high piezoelectric performance, but the drawback of such material is that their mechanical brittleness, which causes a uh, body body reaction in the body when implanted. In comparison, organic materials uh, like polyvinylidin fluoride or PBDF provides the mechanical compliance, which is suitable for bio applications, but its inferior piezoelectric properties limit their applications. So there uh, have been research to improve the piezoelectric properties of organic piezoelectric materials, especially PBDF, uh, focusing on transforming the non piezoelectric alpha phase, shown it here, to piezoelect uh, piezoelectric uh, active beta phase or gamma phase. One of the approaches is the addition of a phase stabilizer. Um, one example is trifluoroethylon which will stabilize the beta phase formation at room temperature. Another approach is using mechanical stretching and electrical pulling to align these polymer chains to form beta phase to further improve piezoelectric properties. In this, in this context, the electrospinning is very, very useful because during the process, the polymer is intrinsically subjected to mechanical stretching using du, during this uh, the electro spinning process, as well as electrical polling by the applied electrical wires, which improves the formation of a beta phase, as well as the alignment to over piezo electric domain to one direction. So this electro spinning process improves the piezo electric coefficient over PBDF therapy from about 20 picometer per volt under the mechanical stretching and electrical pulling to about 30 picometer per volt. However, this improved value is still not up to those you can find from inorganic piezoelectric materials. So in this study, we to further improve the piezoelectric properties of PBDF therapy material, we hypothesized that the dimensional reduction of individual fibers in these electrospun fibers would further improve polymer chain alignment, which will in turn improve the piezoelectric properties. To test our hypothesis, we utilized design of experiments where we controlled the fiber diameter by utilizing variation in solution properties that will affect electrospin process, including viscosity, electrical conductivity, and surface tension by means of regulating the polymer solution concentration, the addition of organic salt, as well as surfactant. So by going through several of these DOE experiments, we were able to downsize the fiber diameter to 30 nanometer. We next examined the crystallinity of these electrospun nanofibers uh, with the, having different fiber diameters and using our uh, XRD experiment. And we found that by decreasing the average fiber diameter, there was a linear increase in degree of crystallinity, almost 80% uh, when we spun 30 nanometer fiber diameter, and which further improved to um, about you know, 83% when 
the sample was heat treated at 90 Celsius degree. In order to examine the phase, electroactive phase content, we utilized FTIR on nanofibers having different fiber diameters, similar to XRD data, where we examine the crystallinity by decreasing fiber diameter, uh, the electroactive phase content linearly increased almost up to 90% in the, the smallest fiber diameter, which further improved to almost 95% when he treated it at 90 Celsius degree. We checked the pH electric coefficient, D3 degree value of these fibers with respect to different fiber diameter. And surprisingly, we found that D3 degree substantially or exponentially increased, especially below 100 nanometer. And this substantial increase in D3 degree could not be fully explained by the improvement in crystallinity, as well as the phase, electric phase content increase we examined using XRD and FRTIR. To look into the mechanisms behind the substantial increase in pH electric properties or pH electric coefficient, we utilized pH force response microscopy to determine the domain dipole alignment in these fibers. So we started with uh, the nano, nano, na 19 nanometer uh, electrospun fibers. When we downsized the fiber diameter to 30 nanometer, we saw improvement in the piezoelectric dipole uh, alignment as shown in this histogram. In addition, when they were subjected to thermal treatment, we also saw improvement in dipole alignment. And when we apply both of these dimensional reduction and thermal treatment, there is a substantial improvement in the phase domain alignment as determined by this histogram. Another possible explanation why we saw that substantial increase in piezoelectric properties when the sample, the, the fiber was downsized below almost the third, to 30 nanometer is that maybe it is because of the materialization of flexor electricity. So it has been known that electrospinning intrinsically produces this core shaft structure in electrospun fiber. This shows the cross-sectional images of electrospun, individual electrospun fibers in 30 nanometer and 90 nanometer. There is a formation of a shift because of a faster evaporation of a, uh, solvent during electrospinning process. And the composition percentage of this shaft material as compared to the core is greater in 30 nanometer as compared to this larger fiber, which causes substantial increase in strain gradient within the structure. They may have realized the deflux of electricity in addition to piezoelectric pH electricity in these fibers. So by using these improved pH electric properties of PBDF TRP nanofibers, we tested our material for several different bio applications. One include the energy harvesting. So we uh, placed the electrosperm fibers underneath this armband. And when you flex your muscle, which will um, subject to the fibers to compress your forces, you can light up this LED uh, light bulb. And depending on the performance of your fibers, you can turn on three lights at the same time without capacitor, or you can turn on almost 10 LED light using 30 nanometer fiber size. Another application we are using these piezoelectric nanofibers is for nerve tissue engineering, where we culture neural stem cells on these electrospun PVDF therapy nanofiber substrate placed into these uh, casings, apply hydrostatic pressure to this scaffold, which will convert this mechanical stimulation into electrical stimulation to the cells cultured on top of it. As shown here, there's a voltage induction upon stimulated by the hydrostatic pressure applied to this scaffold. So what we found is that uh, when you culture the cells on the same scaffold and apply electrical stimulation by using typical traditional electrode and power source, uh, 
where we found that most of the cells differentiated toward uh, neurons as identified this red stain. Same, same thing here, most of the cells differentiated toward the neuron. When the cells were subjected to mechanoelectrical stimulation by using this pH reduction material, there was a simultaneous differentiation of these stem cells toward both neurons stained by the red color, as well as astrocyte identified by the green staining. Similarly, we saw simultaneous uh, spontaneous differentiation toward both neurons as well as oligodendrocyte. Also, when we uh, culture the cells statically, where we saw cells differentiate both type, but there was not much of interaction between different cell type as shown in here. As compared to that, when, you, when the cells were subjected to mechanoelectrical stimulation, it not only enhanced the, the uh, simultaneous differentiation toward the different phenotypes of the cells, but also it enhanced the interaction between those different types of cells as identified by these myelin sheet formation surrounding axons. So these improved cells interaction resulted in greater magnitude of action potential generation, uh, longer duration of action potential, as well as a faster response velocity of this engineered tissue under the mechanoelectrical stimulation. Another application we are using our uh, PBDF therapy nanofiber scaffold is for the on-demand drug delivery application where we utilize the intrinsically negative jetter potential of PBDF, which will attract the cationic drugs. Once the scaffold or the substrate is um, activated by mechanical perturbation, that changes the surface polarity of these PBDF therapy nanofibers, pushing the cationic drugs away from the surface, leading to, releasing those to environment. So in our um, preliminary study using our rat model where we implanted model drug loaded PBDF therapy nanofiber membrane subcutaneously and then applied the mechanical stimulation using shockwave system, we were able to control drug release on demand. In conclusion, um, as we demonstrated we achieved a transformative enhancement in the piezoelectric properties of PBDF therapy nanofibers by using electrospinning. The dimensional reduction and thermal treatment not only increased the overall electroactive phase content, but also in enhanced the dipole alignment, piezoelectric dipole alignment, leading to substantially improved piezoelectricity. This enhanced piezoelectric performance allowed us to use these PBDF therapy nanofibers for various bio applications. I have to give all the credits to my graduate students who worked on these projects, including Gerardo, Yui, and Karen. I also want to thank and acknowledge my funding sources shown it here. If you have any questions, please shoot me an email to email address shown it here. Thank you very much for your attention.